look at uh, some examples on uh, forces and um, dynamics. So the first thing, here is an example. We have an object which is being put to the right side by a 300 newton and to the left side by a 200 newton. So let's say this box is going this direction. Okay, let's say the box is going to toward the, the right. How can we find the resultant force? The mass has been given. So let's have the data here. We have the forward force, which is 300 newtons. The one, so if the box is going this side, then what do we call this force? This force is what we call the friction force. Friction force is 200 newtons. Now, friction force is a force which opposes motion of an object. Now, how do we find the resultant force? So, resultant force, by this symbol, F, will be equal to the force in the right direction minus the force in the left direction. So, what is the force in the right direction? It's 300 newtons minus the friction force in short time in the left direction. In the left what direction newtons and this will give us 100 what newtons as the resultant force that's how you find a resultant force b says find the acceleration of the system now we have the mass here the mass has been given to be 7 kg mass should always be in kg so we know that from newton's first law of motion we know that force is equal to mass times acceleration. So we are, we are looking for this value here. The force is what we have here, which is the resultant force, which is 100 newton. You are going to put 100 newton here. The value that you put here should come after subtracting the two forces if you've got two forces like that. The mass is 7. Acceleration is A. So you need to divide here and you divide there. So A is equal to, so get a calculator. So 100 divided by what is 7. I'm getting 14. point three when you round off meters per second squared. Acceleration should always be in meters per second what squared. Let's look at another example. Let's say you've got this uh, a box. The first thing to answer a physics question, you need to study the diagram and get data from there. So you have two forces that are going in the same direction. So these are parallel. They are not in opposite because this one is going in that direction. Even this one is going in the same direction. Direction. So to find the resultant force, we are not going to subtract. We are, just, we are going to add, but because they are going in the same direction. It will be equal to force, force 1 plus force 2. Let's say force 1 is equal to 150 newtons. Let's say force 2 is equal to 50 newtons. So this will be 150 newtons plus 50 newtons to give us 200 watt newtons the reason why we are adding and not subtracting like in the previous bit because these two are going in the same direction they are all in the same direction so 50 and 150 we can only subtract if one was going the other side and one was going the other side that's when we can subtract but because they are going in the same direction you add when they are going in the different directions you subtract take note of that Alright, so, uh -huh. how do you find the acceleration? From the resultant force, MA, this is a formula to use. Resultant force is 200. Mass is 5. Acceleration is A. Alright, so we divide now both sides by 5. Then we're going to get acceleration. This will give us uh, 40 meters per second squared. So these are some of the questions which they can bring, All right?